heading to Tadoussac, and Tadoussac is a little town in Quebec right on the Saguenay and St. Lawrence Rivers. And it's a beautiful little town that's actually one of the best spots in Canada for whale watching. There's a bunch of beluga whales and all sorts of different species, so my main goal for this video is to show you guys a whale, but I also have a bunch of other really cool things happening over the next couple days that I'm here. So to start this video, let's rewind to the beginning of this day. What you do is what the whole universe is doing at the place you call here and now. You are something the whole universe is doing in the same way that a wave is something that the whole ocean is doing. The real you is not a puppet which life pushes around. The real deep down you is the whole universe. So the plan this morning was to leave the house at 4.30 in the morning, but both me and my dad ended up sleeping through our, our alarms, so we only got out at 5.30. We're making good time though, we're currently driving through Montreal and it is 7 a.m., so we should be in Quebec City in time to have breakfast. This is the inside of the Chateau Frontenac. Wow, I don't feel like I should be here for some reason. <laughs> I'm so glad that we got to Quebec City on time for breakfast. This is incredible. It was good breakfast. Now we're gonna head out and just kinda explore Quebec City, see, uh, see what it's all about. So behind me is the Chateau Frontenac, and that is where I just ate breakfast. It's a really beautiful old hotel, and it is actually considered the most photographed hotel in the world because it's a part of Quebec City skyline, and also because it's a really old historic hotel. Um, we're currently walking on the boardwalk, just seeing what we can find on this beautiful day in Quebec City. So we're at the St. Anne Canyon and it's a really cool canyon with a waterfall and a big bridge that we can go across, but we're going to do something a bit crazier. Wow! The view up here is incredible! Oh, it stopped. was really cool. Um, kind of scary. If you don't like heights, very scary. But an, am an amazing view. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay, let's go cross a uh, rope bridge. <laughs> this is one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. So I'm on this really shaky long rope bridge that goes all the way across the canyon. I'm a whoa. I'm a little nervous. Uh, okay, who's doing that? Uh, he's jumping. Okay, I'm a little nervous. He's very, very creaky, but uh, let's get back over. This place is insane. I love it. It's so cool. Okay, these bridges keep getting freakier and freakier. Look down. <laughs> Place was amazing. 
time to get back on the road. Okay, I thought it was over, but it is not. Look at this. So we were driving up to Tadisac. We just finished the big waterfall canyon adventure, and that was a lot of fun. But we spotted this helicopter place, and this big helicopter just sitting right here. So we're gonna go in this helicopter. This is crazy. I wasn't expecting the day to go anything like this, but we're gonna go in a helicopter through the mountains. I am so excited. Like, I am unbelievably excited. This is my first time ever being in a helicopter, and it's, it's going through the mountains. So cool. I'm very excited right now, if you can't tell. experience that has to be one of my number one highlights of this whole trip and it's only day one I haven't even gotten to Tadisac yet so I had so much fun the pilot did a bunch of really cool maneuvers that were just phenomenal and I also learned a lot of things about the landscape around Tadisac so pretty cool stuff but I think now it's time to finally call it quits for this day and head into Tadisac. So it's day two and I spent this morning making a commercial for Toyota, which is pretty cool. I'll put a link in the description. And this is Tadisac. This is the view from the backyard of the house we're staying in. Uh, you can see the harbor right here that the backyard overlooks. Far out that way is the St. Lawrence River. And behind that peninsula over there is the Saguenay River. And then right over my shoulder peeking through the trees is the Hotel Tadisac. So there's a lot going on here. And now it's time to get some lunch and go for a hike. Okay, so we just had lunch. It was really good. Now we're gonna go down to the beach and kind of just have a look around for a little while. Okay, so we're down at the beach and the water levels are rising so quickly you can even see it. So, look, that's the water coming in. It just slowly eats up the beach. Also, our house is way up there. And there is Hotel Tadisac. 
right there. Two hours later. So I am at Red Point and it is very windy right now, but we're just whale watching, saw a couple whales. We're still gonna keep looking because there's a bunch out there. And this is a beautiful point. There's a beach over there, and then this just big rocky slope. It's it's a really beautiful place. So I'm gonna sit back down. Let's keep whale watching. was super successful. We saw a minky whale, which is pretty neat. And now we're finally out of the wind. I can put my hood down. We're gonna head down to the beach. So let's go. We're taking this really windy, rocky trail. Kind of dangerous.